Hey everyone, uh, Eric here from Faber, and I wanted to show you how you can use our uh, cloud-based cam software to take a 3D SketchUp model like this and very, very easily and quickly uh, get it out to G-Code for your machine. So um, this is gonna be a little bit of a crash course. I'm gonna talk about how to use our software and how to do some SketchUp design. Um, but first, let's just kind of get right to the end so you can see what the results are. So what you will be able to do is get a SketchUp model, one that you've either created like this or downloaded from our uh, library of projects. Um, you will be able to take this and select all of the things that you wanna make. In this case, I'd like to make three of these organizer, nesting organizer trays that I've designed. Uh, you can select them all, click the Faber button, and this will upload it to our cloud. And what happens when it gets there, we will automatically identify all of the parts, figure out which side they need to be machined from. Uh, pretty simple in this case, because these are all two-dimensional parts. You'll see the quantities of each part, if you want to adjust those. Um, and then what you do is you essentially go in here and you select the machine that you want to make it on. So let's say I want to make it on an Avid uh, 9648. Uh, I say I want to make it out of plywood. And I'm gonna go in here and say, I wanna use my compression spiral. And from there, once you've made those choices, Faber is going to encourage you to go and make it. And what it's gonna do is it's going to lay out all the parts on a sheet for you, um, all nested and ready to go. You do have the option to move them around um, if you wish. Um, and there's even some special options in there as well. You can go in and um, there's a setting where you can do automatic dog bones. So if you look at the tool path here, you can see all of the inside corners have dog bones in them. So you don't need to model those um, in your CAD so that this uh, will actually all fit together properly. So um, from there, once you're satisfied with the layout and, and that, you can just click download uh, G-code and you can go run this um, in your machine, whether it's Navit or ShopBot or any other uh, G-code uh, based machine. So it's really that simple. Um, the prerequisite for a SketchUp model is you need to have all of your parts as components. And um, if you're familiar with SketchUp, you're probably familiar with the concept of components, but it's essentially making each distinct part like in this case, the you know front panel, the bottom panel, the sides, and the back as an individual component. So essentially when you're drawing, as you create a part, you would make your part like this, which is starts out as a collection of faces and lines. You would just select it and say, make component. You can give it a name if you wish, super something like that and then you can combine all of your components into an assembly, edit them however you'd like, and as long as it is something that can be cut on a three-axis machine, Faber can make toolpaths for you. So that's essentially it um, in a nutshell. We, we will do a deep dive um, on modeling this in SketchUp if that's something that uh, you guys are all interested in. We can go through all of the details of the nuance here, uh, you know, the little angles we put in here so you get a nice tight fit how we deal or don't deal with dog bones because um, those are in faber and some tricks on how we do the angles here and getting these nice round overs so this thing cuts you know really nice with a round bit and ultimately fits together uh, really well and then we'll go uh, actually right now we're going to go build one of these um, on our machine in the shop so uh, why don't you guys come out in the shop with us all right, it's gonna be a little test cut using Faber. So here we have this uh, 3D model done in SketchUp. This is of some bolt organizer trays. I've already uploaded them to Faber here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, open this. So we set up all of our you know, um, machine, picked our material and our bit, uh, created some tool paths. Um, I had actually changed the layout a little bit and we've got them here in the machine control. And we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna cut these out.
And after we cut it out, we just uh, bang it together with a dead blow mallet and shoot a few finish nails in it, and we've got ourselves some nice bolt organizers.